Hello, kitty. This will be a first of a series of sketch blogs that I will be whipping up as I progress with my current visual storytelling project. If you would like to get sneak peeks of my other visual storytelling experiments, follow me at Permanent Third Grade. That's where it all starts, kitty. That's my playground. But over here, at Cat's Art School, here is where I reveal the methods behind those experiments. This is where you get to learn with me. Now, I'd love to present this big book project as a comprehensive lesson at Cat's Art School. But this project is a big one, and it will take me a few months to complete. So I thought, why don't I just show you the progress in real time? Or near real time. I made this sketch last Saturday. It's a panel from the first chapter of the big book project I'm making. I can't tell much about the story yet, but I will show you how I create it, what mistakes I make, what new techniques I learn, because this is a new learning experience for me as much as it is for you. That is, if you're like me and haven't yet experienced completing a 72-page comic book using traditional media. I spent this week in drawing panels for my first chapter. This is also my first time to use this set of mixed media to illustrate a comic book. Of course, I have tried using colored pencils, colored graphite pencils, pastel pencils, and wax pastels in the past, but not all at once. And the tone paper I'm using is also giving me new ideas on how to use those coloring materials. If you're not yet familiar with my past works, I have produced three short story comic books all done using traditional media. With my first two comic books, Mumbo's Jumbo and Not in Sleep, my comic book creation process were very similar. It started off with writing the story in my head, then creating the character design, then drawing thumbnails, and then painting the final art. With my third comic book, Dragon Song, I applied a completely different approach. I started off with the first few lines from a song I was listening to. The song is called Dragon by the band Breathe Al Breathe. And then I created an illustration about it with the calligraphy of the lyrics. And then I used that as a premise to create a short story. I continued to weave the story every weekend and posted each new spread on my website at permanentthirdgrade.com as a Sunday sketch. So people who were following my Sunday sketches were able to see the story unfold before the book was printed. This creation process made me skip the writing stage and the thumbnailing stage. Instead, I'd combined them into one stage together with the making of the final art. It was an interesting experiment, but there is a sense of uncertainty in that process because I had no outline to guide me through. In this big book project, I had to write the story ahead of time. It's a bigger story, so I would definitely benefit from having an outline. But I did appreciate having skipped the thumbnailing stage in the last comic book I made, so I didn't think twice to do the same here. The underdrawing pencils you see here that is it. They are all drawn on the final art paper, waiting to be colored in. You see, I realized that the main reason why I allotted time for a thumbnailing stage in the past was to help me fit in the speech bubbles in each panel. Other than that, creating thumbnails seems like a huge waste of time in my situation, because I'm not presenting the drawings to anyone else but myself. I just make sure I have a few extra sheets in case I decide to redraw some panels later on. I notice that when I used computer software to draw, I spent too much time fixing small things in my drawings. And with the unlimited undos, layers, and colors, my drawings would end up overly rendered. Which is a spoon-feeding drawing style that is... Eh, just not my preferred style. Conversely, using tactile art tools has taught me, or forced me, to make firm decisions in my illustrations. This is probably why I feel a little more confident skipping the thumbnailing stage. 
Okay, I'll try to keep this shorter next time, as I have a lot of pages to go. Stay tuned for the next sketch blog.